The Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi has visited Nigerians' former president, good luck Jonathan, ahead of next year's presidential election. The former Anambra state governor said he and Jonathan exchanged views on issues of national importance during the meeting. Sharing pictures of the visit on his Twitter page on Thursday, the Labour Party presidential candidate maintained that their discussion covered arrays of national interest questions ahead of the election. I recently visited my senior brother, His Excellency, good luck, Ebele Jonathan, to exchange views on an array of serious national interest questions. Peter will be captioned the pictures. The Joint Admission and Matriculation Board, JAMD, has asked for total financial autonomy and removal from the annual national budgetary allocation. JAMD Registrar Professor Ishak Oloyede made a call while appearing before the House of Representatives Committee on Finance on the Medium-Term Expenditure Framework on Wednesday, September 14th. Oloyede who revealed that one of the conditions set for the body was to review the examination fees upward, told the lawmakers that its registration fee was reviewed downward from 5,000 Naira to 3,500 Naira in 2017 after remitting 7.5 billion Naira. The jam registrar who asked the federal government to allow it to revert back to 5,000 Naira and be autonomous also disclosed that only Finland charges exam fees as low as Nigeria. It also stressed that no country funds such entry examinations body fully. Uloyede said, There is no way that government funds this type of examination. They actually provide some support for the institution because students pay some token as registration fees and from it, they bear the responsibility of salaries and provide some suckers. We are comfortable to be taken off the budget, but there are conditions. One of the conditions, for example, where students registered in 2016, we collected 5,000 Naira and that had been honed for five years before I joined. When we came in, we remitted 7.5 billion Naira. We felt it was too much and approached the federal government to reduce the fees. We have not added a cover since. I believe we should revert to the 5,000 Naira we were charging. Given the inflation, if we charge 10,000 Naira, I am just giving it as an example. Nobody will hack the federal government for one cover. I am not aware of anywhere in the world except maybe Finland that charges as low as jam is charging. In Finland, we know that everything is free.